Today we're going to take the front brakes down and uh, get a look at these drums and see if they're salvageable. I really hope so. So let's see if these star adjusters will actually spin. Oh, that moved. Yeah. Oh man, miracles do happen. Let's see if the brakes... Oh, they're still tight. This is the point where I start to question, am I spinning it the right way? <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's the right way. All right, so that adjuster is all the way in. Let's rotate the drum. Oh, that spun nicely. Okay, now this one, because it's on the other end of the master cylinder, or other end of the, the block, rather. I don't know if you can see this, but this is what we're spinning. So we've got to spin it. We spin it that way, it's gonna extend. We wanna spin it toward the center of the wheel to retract it. Let's see if it'll go. I need to get in your space there, sorry. <laughs> and that's what I'm used to, not spinning. All right, so I gotta get the hammer out and give that one a little help. All right, you can start the camera off. Yeah, go ahead, ready? Yeah, we're following. So it's turning real good now. All right, let's see. All right. Okay, good. Now we'll pop the cap off. We've got to undo the speedometer cable. We'll undo the axle nut, and the drum shall come right off into our hands. All right, with the uh, dust cover removed, I can loosen the pinch bolt on the bearing clamp. And this should spin off. And I think, let's see, this one's going to be left-hand thread. I'm just going to give a little tap the old hammer and come right off. There she goes. So left-hand thread, so I'm turning it to the right to remove it. I'll put it over here in a dust cap so I don't lose it. Now, the drum should come off. I have my thumbs to hold the wheel bearing washer in. Okay, and there we go. So let's have a look at these drums for the first time. Oh, those are ugly. Um, yeah, well, they look pretty bad just from rust and stuff, but we'll clean them up and we'll get a measurement and we'll see if they are serviceable. So with the drum off, we can see the condition of the brakes that were here. The shoes are seemingly okay. There's lining left. Both star wheels turned, which is nice. That made it a little bit easier to get things apart. Um, I peeled back the boot on the on the wheel cylinder, and it's, you know, a mix of <laughs> water and rust coming out. So that's no good. But we're going to replace those wheel cylinders anyway. The bottom was dry, but doesn't matter because it's going to get replaced. But the brakes look pretty good. So again, it looks like it was taken care of at the point that it was parked. So. Now that we know what this looks like, we see the big spring, the little spring, let's go ahead and strip down the rest of the brakes. Tinger cap, so I pinch them, twist them, and they should come right off. There's probably no light on that, is there? It helps when you can see. Almost got it, there it is. Junk will be replaced. Shoes. Not bad. It will be replaced. Back and plates in good shape. Uh, let's do the reveal on this wheel cylinder. Uh, oh, I would say similar to the other. A little bit of goop in there. Not as much water. This one's dry. Okay, well, it's going to be replaced anyway. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can get these star nuts off. Unbelievable. Okay, well those are gonna get replaced. Let's see, I didn't try it. At all. This is the one I didn't try because it was already turned all the way in. Let's get a little bit of helper on that. Uh, I 
doesn't go all the way through. my third hand. Careful, I don't want to break that spring tab off if I can help it. Okay, good. Okay, say goodbye. Into the bin with you. All right, so now all we got to do is get the brake hose and the wheel cylinder off and call that job done. Okay, there we go. Gotta go, let's see, lefty loosey. <clears throat> nice. Those don't always come apart so easily. Now with the, the brake line and the brake hose undone, we can get this wheel cylinder bolt off. The other one came off real easy, and so is this one. Okay, and there is the old wheel cylinder and brake hose and uh, Ate. Oh, it's probably original. Nice. Okay, well, we're saying goodbye. No sentimental feelings for old brakes. You know, it's not much of an upside, but because of COVID-19, I've got this mask handy, so that's great because I'm going to wire wheel the backing plate now and clean off some of that rust and scale not so it looks pretty but just so that the brake shoes have a smooth surface to run on so we'll get that cleaned up and we'll start putting the brakes back together all right so it's basically impossible to do one-handed while holding the camera i really need to get a stand so i'm going to put the camera down and just do it with two hands and then come back and see it. <laughs> and there, it's done. Yay. Next thing I want to tackle is the uh, adjuster bores. So these actually all came apart pretty good. But I want to clean them out, make sure they're good and smooth. And I'll put some anises on there. Where is it? There. This is just a plumbing, like a brush you'd use for cleaning three quarter inch proper pipe. Good tool to have. I'll get the air gun over and blow that out, make sure it's nice and clear. Okay, there are all the new brake components ready to go in. New set of shoes, all those springs, retainers, inspection plugs, wheel cylinders, and adjusters. So, I so something to note on those wheel or brake adjusters, the adjuster screws themselves are not symmetrical. So if you look at the outer side versus the the inner side, you can see that that notch is deeper on the inner side, and that corresponds to the shape of the brake shoes. So it's just good to note. Oops, good to note that that's oriented, orientated, correctly. Uh, and those are all liberally coated in a high temperature anti seize paste, also to make future adjustment easier. And for those who are interested, I'm using a Permatex product. See, Permatex 81343. Well, it started raining, side effects of that hurricane. So you might be hear that in the background, but brakes are all up, looking good. So I'm gonna go clean up the drum and get that wheel bearing re-greased, slide the drum back on and start adjusting. Let's get it roughly adjusted. Rear brake, passenger side. I don't like how the e-brake cable is routed under that spring. I think it should be over the spring like it is on the other side. But the brakes look pretty good. There's no fluid inside the cups of the wheel cylinder. But we're going to change it all anyway because we're here. And you got to have driver's brakes. side. We see the e-brake cables run the other way, which I think is the right way. All the adjusters were loose. Drums came right off. It's almost too easy. I'm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. So I didn't film any of the reassembly of the brakes other than what you've already seen. Apologize for that. It just got too hard to hold the camera and work. 
So the brakes are on, everything works, everything bled out, and it worked great. Thanks to the Thing Shop for uh, having great brake kits available for sale. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description.